The Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider isn't just another aircraft. It's the United States' next-generation stealth bomber and the first brand-new American bomber of the 21st century. Unveiled to the world in 2022, the Raider instantly captured global attention. This futuristic flying wing marvel is built to do what no other bomber can, slip through the world's most advanced air defenses and strike targets with pinpoint accuracy anywhere on Earth. It's dual-capable, armed to carry both nuclear and conventional weapons, and is poised to form the backbone of the U.S. Air Force bomber fleet, alongside modernized B-52s. Simply put, the B-21 is designed to deter enemies and reassure allies, a true symbol of 21st century power projection. In this video, we'll dive into the B-21's fascinating lineage, its program milestones, and the game-changing impact it's expected to have on global air power and deterrent strategy. The Raiders story doesn't begin in the 2000s. It stretches all the way back to radical flying wing experiments of the 1930s and 1940s. In Germany, aviation pioneers Raymar and Walter Horton created daring tailless designs, culminating in the Horton Ho 229, the world's first jet-powered flying wing. Sleek, stealthy, and decades ahead of its time, the Ho 229 hinted at the promise of invisibility to radar, though the war ended before it could enter service. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, Jack Northrop was chasing the same vision. His company developed the massive XB-35, later evolving into the jet-powered YB-49, with eight turbojets hidden inside a 172-foot wing, eerily similar in size to what would later become the B-2 Spirit. The YB-49 showed incredible range, altitude, and even surprisingly low radar visibility. But technical hurdles, shifting priorities, and engine limitations forced the U.S. to shelve the program by 1950. Still, the flying wing concept never truly died, it simply waited for technology to catch up. That breakthrough came in the 1980s with the B-2 Spirit. Northrop, building on decades of flying wing research, secured the Air Force's Advanced Technology Bomber contract, delivering the world's first operational stealth bomber. First flown in 1989, the B-2 brought Jack Northrop's vision to life, made possible by fly-by-wire controls, advanced composites, and stealth coatings. Only 21 were built, but they proved devastatingly effective in combat, from Kosovo in 1999 to strikes across the Middle East. Yet, the B-2 came with a price, over $2 billion per aircraft and a maintenance burden so demanding it required specialized climate-controlled hangars. It was groundbreaking, but far from practical for mass deployment. Enter the B-21 Raider, a bomber designed not only to dominate the skies, but to do so sustainably and affordably. Two full generations beyond the B-2, the Raider embodies over 30 years of stealth evolution. It looks like a sleeker, slightly smaller cousin of the Spirit, but its upgrades run deep. Cutting-edge computing, advanced materials, next-gen stealth coatings, and a design philosophy focused on easy maintenance and lower costs. Unlike the B-2, the Raider doesn't need special hangars. Its stealth skin is far more durable, making it a bomber built for daily readiness. The result? A war machine that blends near-invisibility, long-range strike power, and survivability, ensuring America retains the edge in air power well into the future. The B-21 Raider didn't just appear overnight. It was born from the Air Force's long-range strike bomber program, launched in the 2010s to replace the aging B-1 and B-2 with a platform that would be more survivable, more affordable, and built for the future battlefield. In October 2015, Northrop Grumman beat out a Boeing Lockheed Martin team to win the contract. From there, development moved forward under heavy secrecy through the Air Force Rapid Capabilities Office. For years, the world could only guess what this mysterious bomber looked like, until December 2022, when the curtain finally lifted. What we saw was a smaller, sleeker flying wing than the B-2, with a distinctive shallow W-shaped trailing edge. Exact specifications remain classified, but here's what experts believe. The Raider has a wingspan under 150 feet, a payload of roughly 30,000 pounds, and is designed for a two-person crew, with the option of future unmanned operation. Even more impressive, it features an open systems architecture, meaning new sensors, weapons, and software can be plugged in rapidly without years of redesign. The Raider is dual-capable, 
certified to carry both nuclear and conventional weapons. Its two internal weapon bays can house everything from standoff missiles to direct attack precision bombs, giving commanders the flexibility to conduct both strategic deterrence and fast strike missions. While hard performance numbers are classified, the Air Force has made one thing clear. The B-21 will have the range, access, and payload to hold any target around the globe at risk. Translation a combat radius at least on par with a B-2, with full aerial refueling capability for true intercontinental reach. But range isn't the Raider's only edge. Stealth is where it dominates. Built with next-generation low-observable technology, advanced coatings, and materials, the B-21 is engineered to be virtually invisible to even the most sophisticated radar networks. Combined with electronic attack systems and sensor fusion, it won't just slip past defenses, it will overwhelm them. By mid-2023, at least six B-21s were already in assembly or testing, with the first flight taking place later that year from Palmdale to Edwards Air Force Base. Early results matched digital predictions with striking accuracy, proving the reliability of its cutting-edge digital design. Alongside flight trials, structural and fatigue testing are underway to ensure the radar can serve deep into the 2050s and beyond. The program moved into low-rate initial production in 2024, with infrastructure already being set up, from training simulators to deployable hangars. The first operational squadron and training unit will be based at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, followed by Whiteman and Dias. If all stays on track, the B-21 will reach initial operational capability between 2026 and 2027. Until then, the B-1B and B-2 Two fleets will continue to shoulder the load, before handing off to a bomber force built around the Raider and upgraded B-52s. From day one, the B-21 was built with affordability as a hard requirement. Each aircraft was capped at $550 million in 2010 dollars, a figure the Air Force insists is still on track. By 2024, officials confirmed the program was hitting both cost and schedule targets. The initial development contract was valued at $23.5 billion for five prototypes, and over the next three decades, the program is projected to cost about $203 billion total, covering R&D, procurement, and support for at least 100 Raiders. The bottom line, the B-21 Raider represents not just the next U.S. bomber, but a new era of air power, one built on stealth, adaptability, and affordability. A bomber designed to be ready for the wars of today, and still relevant for the conflicts of tomorrow. Senior Air Force leaders admit that 100 Raiders may not be enough. Analyses suggest the real requirement could be 145 or more. If production ramps up to 15 aircraft per year, the full fleet could be ready by the early 2030s, just in time to replace the aging B-1 and B-2 bombers. Make no mistake, the B-21 Raider is about to reshape America's long-range strike power and reinforce strategic deterrence across both nuclear and conventional missions. As the future air leg of the U.S. nuclear triad, it will step into the B-2 shoes, delivering both gravity bombs and cruise missiles while slipping past the most advanced air defenses on the planet. Its very presence is designed to complicate enemy war planning, deter aggression, and hold the hardest, most mobile targets at constant risk. But the Raider isn't just about nuclear deterrence. In conventional roles, it offers something unique, a global strike option with stealth, range, and unmatched flexibility. Unlike older bombers, it doesn't need forward bases or massive support packages to operate effectively. That independence is a huge advantage in contested theaters like the Indo-Pacific, where access can't be taken for granted. By forcing rivals like China and Russia to pour billions into air defense systems, Systems that may still fail against its stealth, the B-21 restores a critical U.S. edge against modern A2-AD networks such as Russia's S-500 or China's layered defenses. For allies, the Raider is more than a bomber, it's a strategic reassurance. Even though it won't be exported, it's built for coalition integration with open architecture systems ready to sync with future allied technology. Its presence on the front line strengthens deterrence and underscores the credibility of U.S. security guarantees worldwide. Strategically, the B-21 is hailed as a generational leap in long-range strike. Regular bomber task force deployments will project presence, reassure allies, and give Washington the ability to respond to crises at lightning speed. 
Paired with upgraded, standoff-capable B-52s, the U.S. will maintain a dual bomber force, able to adapt across the full spectrum of conflict, from precision strikes to all-out war. Yet, the Raiders' promise comes with challenges. Its dominance depends on the continued survivability of stealth, which could be threatened by emerging detection technologies like quantum radar or advanced passive sensors. In a large-scale, drawn-out conflict, even stealth aircraft will rely on secure bases and logistics, both vulnerable to long-range enemy missiles. And while the B-21 offers advanced precision, massed conventional forces from rivals could still pose serious attrition risks. The lesson. Technology alone isn't enough. Force numbers still matter. At its core, the Raider represents both a technological and doctrinal milestone for U.S. air power. It carries forward the legendary flying wing legacy, but fuses it with modern stealth, digital engineering, and sustainment-focused design. Its affordability and modularity set it apart from the cost-heavy B-2, but questions remain. The program's secrecy limits oversight, its optionally manned capability is unproven, and critics argue that large manned bombers may face obsolescence as autonomous drones and hypersonic weapons rise. Still, as it begins to enter service, one truth is clear. The B-21 Raider is built to extend U.S. reach deep into the 21st century. It offers a flexible, survivable, and future-ready strike platform that denies adversaries sanctuary, while giving allies confidence that American air power remains second to none.